China secures a $100 billion press metal mining rights after Australia stops participation. China is making progress on the advancement of an enormous mine within the African country of Guinea, which may be operational by 2025. In this video, we'll conversation almost how China secures a $100 billion press mineral mining rights after Australia stops participation. In spite of the fact that being the world's second largest economy, China's mechanical innovation is missing. In this way, the nation requires a huge sum of press mineral each year. China and Australia have had a troublesome relationship in later a long time. To play down reliance, China started lessening imports of Australian press mineral and hence collaborated with Brazil and Mongolia. Something stunning happened not long prior that stunned Australia, and the German media indeed alluded to China as very fortunate. The reason for typically that Guinea advertised China at expansive show by giving over the mining rights to the Guinea Samandu press mine, which had a place to Australia. The sum of press metal mined in Australia's Guinea Samandu press mine surpasses 1 billion tons, and the esteem of 1 billion tons of press mineral surpasses 200 billion USD. This huge blessing from Guinea quickly profited China to the tune of more than 100 billion USD. So why did Guinea cut ties with Australia, sometime recently giving over mining rights to China? We are all aware that China has been helping Africa's development, with Guinea being one of the advocates. China, for case, helped Guinea within the development of the Kalita Water Preservation Extend. It not as it were fathoms Guinea's water issue, but it too meets the domestic residents' power utilization. Most urgently, Guinea may send out power to neighboring nations, permitting the nation to win a considerable sum of foreign cash. Furthermore, China helped Guinea in the development of a railroad, permitting its exchange to extend quick. Guinea gave over innate assets to China for abuse as a way of saying thanks to China for its help. The Guinea Samandu Iron Mine is the foremost eminent of these. China's Samandu Press Mine is found within the country's southeast. In spite of how distant it is from the harbor, the Arrive Transportation Foundation is despicable. In any case, its press metal stores are considerable, and it is seen as influencing the worldwide press metal supply and request design, as well as the rules of the amusement within the worldwide showcase by nations all over the world. Concurring to the overview team's evaluation, the demonstrated press metal saves of the Guinea Samandu press mine outperform 2.25 billion tons, and the in general reserves of the Guinea Samandu press mine may be as tall as 10 billion tons. Most urgently, the review of the Guinea Samandu press mine is between 66 and 67 percent, and the mine quality is among the most excellent within the world. Guinea Samandu press mine has long been a major cake for universal mining giants due to its tall commercial mining esteem. Concurring to the survey, three enterprises have the larger part of the offers in Guinea Samandu press mine. Rio Tinto possesses 45 percent, China Chinalco claims 40 percent, and the Guinean government owns 15%. China, the world's top merchant of press mineral, has imported 75 million tons of press metal per month since 2015. Australia and Brazil are the essential merchants of press metal for China. Each year, China imports 724 million tons of press mineral from Australia, bookkeeping for nearly 70% of China's add up to press metal imports amid the same period. Amid the same time period, China imported 205 million tons of press mineral from Brazil, but keeping for around 19% of add up to imports. We will conclude from this that China has created a tall level of dependence on imported press metal with a single source of imports. Each year, China can extricate 100 million tons of press ore from the Guinea Samandu press mine. To a few degree, the press mineral consequence emergency has been alleviated and China has gradually started to gain iron mineral estimating control, switching the inactive position within the worldwide press mineral advertise. Rio Tinto's headquarters are well known in Melbourne, Australia. Rio Tinto acquired a mining company in Northern Australia in 2000, setting up itself as a worldwide pioneer and one of the world's three press metal mammoths. As a result, Australia claims 8% of the mining rights to the Guinea Samandu press mine. Although the proportion is very little, it recommends that Australia may have 800 million tons of press metal with an esteem of more than 160 billion US dollars. Guinea Fair declared its refusal to collaborate with Australia. What precisely is going on? 
Guinea inked a 35-year foundation agreement with Rio Tinto and the WIN organization together in WALK 2022. Agreeing to the understanding, the firms will work together to construct a railroad and a port to empower the send-out of press mineral from the Guinea Samandu press mine. But these organizations have not taken any activity after the agreement was struck. Guinea was angry that these enterprises did not take after the terms of the contract. Hence, Guinea warned them different times, but these notices were incapable. As a result, Guinea made authoritative notice that if these businesses do not wrap up the development of the Samandu, extend inside the time outline set within the contract, they chance losing the Guinea Samandu iron mine. The misfortune of mining rights for the Guinea Samandu press mine by Rio Tinto II implies that Australia has misplaced mining rights. Rio Tinto's inaction is thought to have fetched Australia a lot of cash. Australia not as it reloses the mining rights to the Guinea Samandu press mine, but it must moreover pay Guinea exchanged harms within the tens of billions of euros. Besides, sending a huge number of specialists and machines to Australia is costly. Most urgently, Guinea is prepared to pass up mining rights in Australia to China. The Join Together States accepts that Guinea's activity has fetched Australia roughly 100 billion USD. With the tall reserves of the Guinea Samandu press mine, why doesn't Guinea protect Australia's mining rights but exchange them over to China? The primary reason is since Guinea's technology is deficiently. In spite of its riches and characteristic assets, Guinea remains a devastated country. Poverty infers that numerous advances are second-rate to those found in created nations. In spite of China's need of iron ore mining technology, China is eager to educate Guinea these mining technologies. Also, China is the foremost true of the a few nations that Guinea has contacted. China not as it were inspires Guinea with high costs, but too gives free help within the development of railways and ports. On the one hand, there's China's sincerity within the faith of Guineans, and on the other, there's the ferocious competitiveness of worldwide press metal monsters. Taking after cautious examination, the Guinean organization concluded that as it were China is dependable. Subsequently, Guinea selected to hand over Australia's mining rights to China. It is evidently blessed for China to secure encourage mining rights for the Guinea Samandu press mine. As long as China works difficult to utilize the Guinea Samandu press mine, the annual yield of the Guinea Samandu press mine will outperform 100 million tons. This will not only meet China's press metal needs, but will too help China to construct its industry. In spite of the fact that China imports 80% of its press metal, it is hazy how much of that press mineral is created at mines in which China encompasses a stake. Kurt says that he would expect a challenge for China in finding markets other than Australia and says this would be dreamlike inside the another five a long time. However, China is pointing to amplify its organization within the investigation or improvement of ventures over other nations, primarily in Guinea. He clarifies Samandu is one such major extent, which is anticipated to have a 100 metric tons of press metal generation capacity. The venture is anticipated to begin its to begin with generation in 2025 or 2026. Samandu, a 110 kilometer long arrangement of slopes in West Africa, may be a gigantic boon to China's press metal aspirations. The location has been named Tough Bora Executioner by supporters, and it is thought to have the world's most prominent undeveloped press metal safes. Other eminent ventures in Guinea incorporate Kalia and Zagoda, which have a combined yield capacity of more than 20 megatons. Both are set to end it up operational by 2023. Maybe the clearest sign of Guinea's press metal potential is China's intrigued in it. Late final year, a China-backed consortium won a $14 billion bargain to create a parcel of the Samandu venture. China has been consistently developing its relations with African countries for several long time. China has been South Africa's biggest exchanging accomplice for over a decade. Presently, that's all. Thank you for observing. Don't disregard to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more recordings.